the fact that it, you know that it's been going on for 10 years, you have knowledge to it within your tenor. I, I said no. no. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Okay, so you say no. you don't have no knowledge to it. Then if you had no knowledge to it, then your resignation should be put in because you can't tell me that you have a house and $3 billion come out and you don't know about it. If you enjoy the contents on the Black Radar YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to show your support. Jamaican but, people look, should be holding you yeah, responsible look, look. as a finance minister. It's the Jamaican people who put you as a finance minister three years ago when you all came to the Jamaican people and promised prosperity and that changes would be made. However, it's been a fraud. Three billion, you are in control of the finance. You are the finance minister of Jamaica. And you were put in place, you were elected three years ago. Today makes three years ago, Dr. Clark. You were put in place. As yeah. the right, sir, sir, I'm talking, the, what you have on Instagram here is, is libelous, sir. Well, um, if it's libel, if it's libel, if, if it's libel, I can tell you, it's factual, sir. You are a part of a corrupt government that has no, you, you in the fact that you're here taking now and you're speaking like this, you are not taking responsibility for the action of what both went on in SSL and what goes on. And you now you're asking the citizens, SSL is a pro private company which should not have any part with the public citizen of Jamaica. And they fraudulently stole three, be over three billion dollars from out of the country. And you were elected to do something and within your three years tenor what you are doing now is to ask the citizens of jamaica to repay the salary of the people who fraudulently stole that is thief that's that's the biggest thief it's the government responsibility the fact that you're not taking responsibility and doing action for it show that it's corruption on all levels and whatever action you want to take, Dr. Nigel Clark, against OBC Radio LLC, go ahead and do it, sir. Because it's not taken down. You are the finance minister. You are the landlord. Ed Cook and Battle Washer for every finance deal that goes on in the island of Jamaica. And you are saying during your tenure, all those corruption was going on, and you know nothing about it. Who do you think you're talking to, Dr. Niger Clark? Whatever Sir. repercussion Sir. you want Sir. to, reprisal you want to go ahead and take an action against OBC Radio LLC, you can go ahead and take it down. I'm a licensed journalist, and freedom of speech is what is um, going on, and everything that's written, it can be proven factual. And the fact that you call now trying to cover up, I appreciate your call, but that's all I'm getting is a cover up. There's no, you are, you, you are my parents. And I put my money in my house. You are my father. And I put my money in my house. I'm working and put my money in my piggy bank in my house. And daddy, leave my door open. Leave the door open. And the criminals come in and take it away. And daddy is not taking responsibility for it. Let it make sense. And then you're saying you're for the people. No, that's a big deceive. And we have all right to speak out on behalf of the people on these things. And I like what's going on. It's corruption on the top. And it's not just this. But it's not just this. There's more corruption that you name as called into Dr. Nigel Clark. We can go on and on. So this is not just, not because you get into the highlights on this now, because you're slapping the people in their face as if they're naive. You should be taking responsibility. Your recognition should be put in. You shouldn't come to the citizens asking them to repay salary of a private, a public company. It shows that what the, the fact that came in, that SSL was a donor for the Jake Jamaica Labour Party campaign. Whether it was during your tenure or not, you are a part of the Jamaica Labour Party. You should take responsibility. And not that just you are a member of the Jamaica Labour Party or a delegate. You are a finance minister. Start taking action for your responsibility because the people believe in you guys. And the people, you win the, by a landslide because people believe in you and you turn around and deceive the people over and over and over and step in the neck. And it's wrong. 
When are you going to take responsibility for the actions of the corruption that's going on in the country? Yeah, sir, I think you're so, um, you're so, so invested in all what you've been no, going on. You're so convinced. No, you're not, you're not open to, if I ever take up the phone to call you, right? Um, I'm, I'm happy I did um, to share your point of view. Uh, but you are being fed with a lot of information. It's not, it's, it's not true. No, no that's not true. It's oh, it's, not oh, it's true, not true. Not. Okay, what information that's not true? $3 billion came out from Jamaica where you are the finance minister and you know nothing about it, you claim. Yes, sir. Sir, you are sir, in the job that's business. not my, my job. Is not, my, my job is not to know about those. Sir, this is a thing that went on for 10 What's years. What's your job as a right? finance minister, Mr. Uh, Dr. Clark? Mm -hmm. As a but finance no, minister, what's your job? Minister of Finance. The word yeah, finance. The finance. Yes, the finance minister. Sir. If you're, but you seem dogmatic and made up. I don't know if, you know, you seem like you've made up your mind and you can't be convinced any at all. No, I, I would love for you, you to. No, I would love for you to. But you're not answering the question. You're going around. No, I'm answering the question. I'm saying, sir, the, 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 the job of minister of finance is to make policy, to craft a budget, and to put you know, put policies in place and, and so forth. We, the I mean, the finance does not run any financial institution. We have, we I'm have doing, many, doing the budget. No, wait, wait, wait. wait, yes. wait. We have 75, 80 financial institutions in Jamaica. I mean, the finance cannot know what is going on with, with those entities. We operate a market system where people are free. They can have a responsibility. And sometimes people, you know, mess up on their responsibility. But they, you have people who are responsible, people at Victoria Mutual, people at Capital Credit, people at JLNB, people at Barita, people at different companies that are responsible for stewarding the resources in their company. Right? And it, when they make errors, you know, what? here is the thing that I'm trying to do and the reason why this is... Okay, okay. Uh, okay. We, we're here we're talking about you know, Dr. Don. Dr. Don, Dr. Dr. Yes. I am trying to support, I'm trying to support a free, unfettered, and transparent investigation. That's what I'm trying to do. And how we support in a free and transparent investigation, asking the public citizens to repay the salary of a private company. The, the reason for that, sir, the reason for that, okay, the, the reason for that, sir, is that the, the investigators need to be able, in order to, in order to get certain documents, get certain information, understand how certain things in the system work and so on, they need to be able to talk to them and get answers. And furthermore, as I said, well, that's wait, 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 wait. It's a crime scene, and so the client fund are still there. Because the client fund are still there, you need people there to administer the client fund. Okay? There is, the, the, right now we have an immediate need that we have to pay the salary. There is no other place from which that one can have those resources. And what happens everywhere, sir, is that financial sector failure is, uh, is a burden on a country. So you know what I am doing about it as well? And I can show it to you and prove to you, you understand. I am putting in place a particular regime and I can show it to you. It's a commitment I made in our IF, IMF agreement. Um, so like the commitment was made four years ago of prosperity. Mm -hmm. The informative information presented in this video is motivational and is positively aimed at inspiring, educating and entertaining the viewers with the cutting edge of critical reasoning. If you enjoy the contents on the Black Radar YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to show your support. Subscribe and tell your friend them. This is Muta Baruka.